Thanks for tuning in once again. Today, another Italian specialty, and it's one of my absolute favorites. And whenever I go to a restaurant and I see that they have stuffed zucchini flowers on the menu, that's the first thing I order. So I would like to show you how I make stuffed zucchini flowers. Let's run through the ingredients. And I'm going to make four because a little goes a long way. It's quite a filling first plate. This is the lovely zucchini flowers that you get this time of year. So we have four of those. Uh, let's say 60 milligrams of veal. And then we have uh, some pancetta dolce. So it's not smoked. And you can also just use very thick cubes of bacon or lard. And this is 75 grams. Mm -hmm. Then we have 125 grams of ricotta cheese. 75 grams of parmigiano, olive oil to saute in, and the egg and the flour is going to be used as your coating for the flour, for the zucchini flowers. And of course, some fresh parsley, and the secret ingredient is freshly ground nutmeg. Well, let's get started. Well, the first part is we have to make the stuffing for the zucchini flowers. So I take my pancetta, and the veal, and I put it in my little mini food processor. You know, I think it's time that I actually invest in a larger one, but we can make do with what we have. Okay, let's put it on here. You pulse it until it's very fine. You know it's finished when it becomes a nice pink paste. In the bowl it goes. Next, we add our ricotta cheese. Try to drain it as much as possible because we don't want the filling too runny. Smash it up. The parmigiano, smash it up. Some cooks like to add breadcrumbs so that their filling doesn't get too runny, but I'm okay. Uh, you see, it's, it's really going to stick together as if you're making meatloaf or meatballs. It'll be just fine. For this dish, I like the parsley to have a little bit of flavor, so I'm just going to use scissors and chop it into the stuffing rather than put it in the mini food processor because then it would just oh, disappear to nothing. It's time to take the secret ingredient, which is our whole nutmeg, and the little nutmeg grater, and you just simply put quite a bit in because it really gives it a nice zip and a very characteristic taste to this dish. So I would grate about a half of a nutmeg into it. You'll see that I have ground in approximately two teaspoons worth of nutmeg. I finished making the stuffing for the zucchini flowers. And if you take a look, it's a very pale pink. All the ingredients are mixed in, the, the parsley, the nutmeg, the Parmesan cheese, the ricotta, all the meat. And now the tricky part. We take our zucchini flour and we gently open this. Oh, by the way, this is important. I had washed and dried them early this morning so that they would be completely dry when it's time to stuff them. Some people like to pull out the center. I don't think it really matters. So, or actually I haven't noticed the difference in the taste. And you just stuff it in. You have to use your fingers a bit. So you want it da deep down in the center of it. And then you simply fold the petals over the stuffing. Okay, on to the next. Okay, you'll see that I have stuffed all four of my zucchini flowers. Time to whip up the batter. 
And basically what you simply do is you roll it in the egg and then into the flour and then you saute it into the frying pan. So I'm going to turn on my cocktail so that the oil gets hot. Okay, and now we're going to roll the flour gently, just roll it. Egg and then flour. Putting a nice coating on it because it gets lovely crunchy and brown. And then you just continue the process. When I saute or fry vegetables or zucchini blossoms in this case, I just use your basic olive oil. You don't have to use that extra virgin fancy stuff for this. Something a bit lighter rather than thicker. Just plop your flowers into the pan. And saute. It's time to slowly turn our flowers over. And about two minutes on each side. We don't want to burn them, but we do want that filling to be nice and cooked. My flowers are rather large, so I actually cook them three minutes on each side. And they're just beautifully brown, crispy, just as they should be. And I put them on a plate with some kitchen towels so they drain before dressing the plate. So there we are. You see the plate is all dressed with our zucchini flowers and as a special dipping sauce, we have the famous roasted red pepper sauce to accompany it. So I imagine after one bite of these flowers, you will understand why the Dutch gave Manhattan to the British. Because in 1667, the British owned the Banden Islands and the Dutch were so crazy about nutmeg that they said, okay, let's make a switch. So, a bit of history, a bit of taste, and I hope you take a look at our website, www.lockedintastes.com, to look about some of our projects that we're doing. We actually design recipes and do these videos in an effort to earn money for charity. Our first initiative was for COVID-19 charities, and now we're thinking that we're going to slowly move away from that as we're coming out of lockdown and start seeking other charities, hunger-based charities or food banks that may need a little bit of our initiative, our support to help them out. Thanks and please keep tuning into our YouTube channel, Locked in Tastes, and um, hope to see you again. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.